Are you trying to figure out what the best hunting caliber is? Are you spending hours reading all of the forums trying to find out 280 versus 7 PRC versus 300 PRC? Are you seeing all of the different opinions out there and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Let me see if I can shed just a little bit of light on that subject, help educate you and help you make that decision on your own. What's up, outlaws? I missed you, did you miss me? All right, I'm back, it's hunting season. We're smack dab in the middle of it. And you're trying to pick that best hunting caliber that you can possibly come up with. Maybe it's a whatever your caliber choice is. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of good ones. There's not very many bad ones. They all do exactly what they were intended to do. Let's help you try to figure out what that is. All right, first, making this as easy as I can make it. We have short actions. Short actions are gonna be like your 308, your 6.5 Creedmoor, your seven millimeter 08, right? Your six Creedmoor, the 6.547 Lapua. All right, then we have our short action Magnum. These are getting pretty popular, right? You got your 6.5 PRC, you got your seven WSM, seven SOM, you got your 6.5 SOM and your, I don't know, 300 WSM, okay? Then you've got long actions. Your long action is about half an inch longer than your short action. Um, this is your 270, your 30 odd six, uh, 280, 280 Ackley, 284, okay. Then you've got your long action magnum bolt faces. This is your seven millimeter mag. This is your 300 PRC, 300 wind mag, uh, seven millimeter PRC. This is also your ultra mags. It's also like your 28 nozzler. Then you've got your Lapua bolt face, which is your 338 Lapua. You've got your 338 Norma. 300 Norma, 300 by 338, and then your seven by 338, and you can do these in all of these cases, okay? So this comprises most of our options for hunting, being a sniper, being a competition shooter. There's one thing that if you notice in each one of these columns, if you notice there are YouTubers, gun tubers, People on the forums that will argue for days and days and days that the 300 PRC is better than the 300 Win Mag or the 7 millimeter PRC is better than the 7 Mag. You can read hours and hours of forums about this. Same thing with the ever common 308 versus the 65 Creedmoor. You can read hours and hours and hours of anything. Somebody talking to you, listening to you, podcasts literally hours of talking about this, discussing it and reading about it, about people's experience in each of these. And what we find out is if you know somebody or if your dad had it, or if you've already bought it, you stay pretty much die hard to that. Whatever you believed to be truth was, is why you bought that caliber or why you want it and you believe that to be truth. Okay, let me give you just kind of the reality to try to make this easy on you. Everything in the short action is 500 to 600 meters. The 6.5 Creedmoor kills just as good as the 308. The 308 kills just as good as the 6.5 Creedmoor, as the 708, as the 6, as the 6.5, as the 260. Whatever you wanna put that fits inside of a short action kills everything in that five to 600 meter range. Short action magnums. The 6.5 PRC, the 7 WSM, the, six, the 7 SOM, the 6.5 SOM, all of these do very amazing at harvesting your game at the six to 800 meters, okay? The long action 270, 30 odd six, 280, let's just back this up. You're gonna find that it goes somewhere in between five to 700 meters, okay? The long action magnum bolt face 
is gonna do very well from you from 800 meters to 1,000 meters. This is like very good for, for taking animals. This is like the very max end of taking animals. And then somewhere in here in the Lapua bolt face, you can go the 1,000 to maybe 1,500. Now look at me, don't get caught up. I understand I can take a, a 300 PRC and shoot further, I have. I shot an elk at 1,604 meters with this. But this is what I do for a living and why I could do it. So that is the exception, it's not the rule. So if you look at this as the rules of your life and you base the rules of your life on this, then you'll say, oh my gosh, I don't need a coyote gun and a deer gun and an antelope gun and an elk gun and a moose gun. I might just need one gun. And so if I was looking for one gun, I might fall in the middle, somewhere in this category. I guess the middle would be these two categories. You know, maybe the 6.5 PRC is kind of the middle. It'll do elk pretty good, it'll do coyotes pretty good, right? So if I, if I hunted in the West and I was out, you know, where I am in Texas, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, I might want to play in these long action bolt faces right here. The 7 PRC, 300 PRC, 7 mag. If I knew that everything I was trying to do was extended range, I might play in this normal bolt face, three, or Lapua bolt face, 338 normal. So first you have to identify what it is that you wanna do. And then I, from when you identify what you wanna do, if you say, look, all of my stuff is white-tailed deer and coyotes at 300 meters. Well, you don't need a 338 because that's $7 a shot. You could take any of these calibers and do very well, any short action. But if you say, hey, I'm out in the West and I'm gonna shoot a lot of elk and sometimes deer, maybe you wanna be in the long action magnum bolt face. And then it actually doesn't matter the caliber inside on what the gun is actually gonna kill at, right? Actual performance terminal ballistics. Again, I realize it'll kill further, of course it will kill shorter. Make this the rule and then you'll be okay. So it doesn't matter if you say, hey, Trey, I need, a, I, need a, I need a rifle. Should I get a 7 mag or a 300 PRC? I'm honestly going to tell you. It doesn't matter. What can you get the rifle for and what can you get the ammo for? If you can get both of those, pick that one. Same thing. Hey, I, my granddad's had a 30 odd 6 for, for, you know, my granddad, my dad, me. They give me that 30 odd 6. Well, cool. You don't need a switch. That 30 odd 6 will kill everything that you want to kill. So first you have to identify what it is that you want to use it for. You know, if I want to shoot competition, I don't want to shoot a 7 mag. If I want to shoot competition, I'm going to come over here in one of these, right? And so it, it just matters what you want to use it so for. So first, identify what do I want to use this rifle for? Then, if it's somewhere in this 500, 600 range, look at your short actions. If it's somewhere 6 to 8, look at your short action magnums, right? So go down the list and say, this is what I, I want to do. So identify first, write it down. I want the gun for walking, the gun for bench shooting, the gun for a truck. I want the gun for 300, 500, 600, 1,000, 1,500 meters. I want the gun for moose or I want it for deer. Identify what you're gonna do 85% of the time and then just know the details inside of these boxes don't matter as much as you wanna think. All right, outlaws, do me a favor. Tell me, do you wanna argue over some of these cases? Cause I like it. Let's not call it argue, let's call it discuss. I enjoy talking about the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308. You can go look at inside uh, my video a couple of videos ago where I talk about these. I'm fixing to kick you out a podcast on the 7 PRC. I've done one on the 300 PRC. I enjoy, because I'm a ballistics guy, I enjoy talking the difference in ballistics in these categories. You don't have to get outside of those categories. You can stay in those categories. So do me a favor. What calibers do you want to talk about? Put it down here below. Everybody comment. Tell me what, what do you shoot? Tell me what right underneath here, what caliber you shoot. I'd like to see what everybody shoots. I don't know. I'm surprised how many people shoot different things. But all right, guys, love you. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. See you soon. Outlaw out.